Raymond Bernard Cattell, the 20th of March 1905 to the 2nd of February 1998, was a British and American psychologist known for his psychometric research into intrapersonal psychological structure. His work also explored the basic dimensions of personality and temperament, the range of cognitive abilities, the dynamic dimensions of motivation and emotion, the clinical dimensions of abnormal personality, patterns of group centrality and social behavior, applications of personality research to psychotherapy and learning theory, predictors of creativity and achievement, and many multivariate research methods including the refinement of factor analytic methods for exploring and measuring these domains. Cattell authored, co-authored, or edited almost 60 scholarly books, more than 500 research articles, and over 30 standardized psychometric tests, questionnaires, and rating scales. According to a widely cited ranking, Cattell was the 16th most eminent, 7th most cited in the scientific journal literature, and among the most productive, but controversial psychologists of the 20th century. Cattell was an early proponent of using factor analytic methods instead of what he called subjective verbal theorizing to explore empirically the basic dimensions of personality, motivation, and cognitive abilities. One of the results of Cattell's application of factor analysis was his discovery of 16 separate primary trait factors within the normal personality sphere based on the trait lexicon. He called these factors, source traits. This theory of personality factors and the self-report instrument used to measure them are known respectively as the 16 personality factor model and the 16 PF questionnaire. 16 PF. Cattell also undertook a series of empirical studies into the basic dimensions of other psychological domains: intelligence, motivation, career assessment, and vocational interests. Cattell theorized the existence of fluid and crystallized intelligence to explain human cognitive ability, investigated changes in GF and GC over the lifespan, and constructed the culture fair intelligence test to minimize the bias of written language and cultural background in intelligence testing. Topic: <laughs> Innovations and accomplishments. Cattell's research was mainly in personality, abilities, motivations, and innovative multivariate research methods and statistical analysis especially his many refinements to exploratory factor analytic methodology. In his personality research, he is best remembered for his factor analytically derived 16-factor model of normal personality structure, arguing for this model over Isingek's simpler higher-order three-factor model, and constructing measures of these primary factors in the form of the 1-6-PF questionnaire and its downward extensions, HSPQ, and CPQ, respectively. He was the first to propose a hierarchical, multi-level model of personality with the many basic primary factors at the first level and the fewer, broader, second-order factors at a higher stratum of personality organization. These global trait constructs are the precursors of the currently popular Big Five FFM model of personality. Cattell's research led to further advances, such as distinguishing between state and trait measures e.g., state-trait anxiety, ranging on a continuum from immediate transitory emotional states, through longer acting mood states, dynamic motivational traits, and also relatively enduring personality traits. Cattell also conducted empirical studies into developmental changes in personality trait constructs across the lifespan. In the cognitive abilities domain, Cattell researched a wide range of abilities, but is best known for the distinction between fluid and crystallized intelligence. He distinguished between the abstract, adaptive, biologically influenced cognitive abilities that he called fluid intelligence and the applied, experience-based and learning-enhanced ability that he called crystallized intelligence. Thus, for example, a mechanic who has worked on airplane engines for 30 years might have a huge amount of crystallized knowledge about the workings of these engines, while a new young engineer with more fluid intelligence might focus more on the theory of engine functioning. These two types of abilities might complement each other and work together toward achieving a goal. 
As a foundation for this distinction, Cattell developed the investment model of ability, arguing that crystallized ability emerged from the investment of fluid ability in a particular topic of knowledge. He contributed to cognitive epidemiology with his theory that crystallized knowledge, while more applied, could be maintained or even increase after fluid ability begins to decline with age, a concept used in the National Adult Reading Test NART. Cattell constructed a number of ability tests, including the Comprehensive Ability Battery CAB, that provides measures of 20 primary abilities, and the Culture Fair Intelligence Test CFIT, which was designed to provide a completely non-verbal measure of intelligence like that now seen in the Ravens. The Culture Fair Intelligence Scales were intended to minimize the influence of cultural or educational background on the results of intelligence tests. In regard to statistical methodology, in 1960 Cattell founded the Society of Multivariate Experimental Psychology SMEP, and its journal Multivariate Behavioral Research, in order to bring together, encourage, and support scientists interested in multivariate research. He was an early and frequent user of factor analysis a statistical procedure for finding underlying factors in data. Cattell also developed new factor analytic techniques, for example, by inventing the Scree test, which uses the curve of latent roots to judge the optimal number of factors to extract. He also developed a new factor analysis rotation procedure. The Procrystas or non-orthogonal rotation, designed to let the data itself determine the best location of factors, rather than requiring orthogonal factors. Additional contributions include the coefficient of profile similarity taking account of shape, scatter, and level of two score profiles, p-technique factor analysis based on repeated measurements of a single individual sampling of variables, rather than sampling of persons, doctor technique factor analysis for elucidating change dimensions including transitory emotional states, and longer-lasting mood states, the taxonomy program for ascertaining the number and contents of cluster clusters in a data set, the rotaplot program for attaining maximum simple structure factor pattern solutions. As well, he put forward the dynamic calculus for assessing interests and motivation, the basic data relations box assessing dimensions of experimental designs, the group syntality construct, personality of a group, the triadic theory of cognitive abilities, the ability dimension analysis chart ADAC, and multiple abstract variance analysis MAVA, with specification equations to embody genetic and environmental variables and their interactions, as Lee J. Kronbach at Stanford University stated. The 30-year evolution of the data box and related methodology fed on bold conjecture, self-criticism, unbridled imagination, rational comparison of models in the abstract, and responsiveness to the nasty surprises of data. The story epitomizes scientific effort at its best. p. 240. Topic. Biography. Topic. England Raymond Cattell was born on 20 March 1905 in Hilltop, West Bromwich, a small town in England near Birmingham where his father's family was involved in inventing new parts for engines, automobiles and other machines. Thus, his growing up years were a time when great technological and scientific ideas and advances were taking place and this greatly influenced his perspective on how a few people could actually make a difference in the world. He wrote, 1905 was a felicitous year in which to be born. The airplane was just a year old. The Curies and Rutherford in that year penetrated the heart of the atom and the mystery of its radiations, Alfred Bennett launched the first intelligence test, and Einstein, the theory of relativity. When Cattell was about five years old, his family moved to Torquay, Devon, in the southwest of England, where he grew up with strong interests in science and spent a lot of time sailing around the coastline. 
He was the first of his family and the only one in his generation to attend university. In 1921, he was awarded a scholarship to study chemistry at King's College, London, where he obtained a B.Sc. Hans degree with first-class honors at age 19 years. While studying physics and chemistry at university he learned from influential people in many other fields, who visited or lived in London. He writes, I browsed far outside science in my reading and attended public lectures, Bertrand Russell, H. G. Wells, Huxley, and Shaw being my favorite speakers the last, in a meeting at King's College, converted me to vegetarianism, for almost two years. P. 64, as he observed firsthand the terrible destruction and suffering after World War I, Cattell was increasingly attracted to the idea of applying the tools of science to the serious human problems that he saw around him. He stated that in the cultural upheaval after World War I, he felt that his laboratory table had begun to seem too small and the world's problems so vast. Thus, he decided to change his field of study and pursue a Ph.D. in psychology at King's College, London, which he received in 1929. The title of his Ph.D. dissertation was, The Subjective Character of Cognition and Pre-Sensational Development of Perception. His Ph.D. advisor at King's College, London, was Francis Aveling, D.D., D.Sc., Ph.D., D.Lit., who was also president of the British Psychological Society from 1926 until 1929. In 1939, Cattell was honoured for his outstanding contributions to psychological research with conferral of the prestigious Higher Doctorate. DSC, from the University of London. While working on his PhD, Cattell had accepted a position teaching and counselling in the Department of Education at Exeter University. He ultimately found this disappointing because there was limited opportunity to conduct research. Cattell did his graduate work with Charles Spearman, the English psychologist and statistician who is famous for his pioneering work on assessing intelligence, including the development of the idea of a general factor of intelligence termed G. During his three years at Exeter, Cattell courted and married Monica Rogers, whom he had known since his boyhood in Devon and they had a son together. She left him about four years later. Soon afterward he moved to Leicester where he organised one of England's first child guidance clinics. It was also in this time period that he finished his first book, Under Sail Through Red Devon, which described his many adventures sailing around the coastline and estuaries of South Devon and Dartmoor. United States In 1937, Cattell left England and moved to the United States when he was invited by Edward Thorndike to come to Columbia University. When the G. Stanley Hall Professorship in Psychology became available at Clark University in 1938, Cattell was recommended by Thorndike and was appointed to the position. However, he conducted little research there and was continually depressed. Cattell was invited by Gordon Allport to join the Harvard University faculty in 1941. While at Harvard he began some of the research in personality that would become the foundation for much of his later scientific work. During World War II, Cattell served as a civilian consultant to the U.S. government researching and developing tests for selecting officers in the armed forces. Cattell returned to teaching at Harvard and married Alberta Karen Schutler, a Ph.D. student in mathematics at Radcliffe College. Over the years, she worked with Cattell on many aspects of his research, writing, and test development. They had three daughters and a son. They divorced in 1980. Herbert Woodrow, professor of psychology at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, was searching for someone with a background in multivariate methods to establish a research laboratory. Cattell was invited to assume this position in 1945. 
With this newly created research professorship in psychology, he was able to obtain sufficient grant support for two PhD associates, four graduate research assistants, and clerical assistants. One reason that Cattell moved to the University of Illinois was because the first electronic computer built and owned entirely by a U.S. educational institution, Illinois Automatic Computer was being developed there, which made it possible for him to complete large-scale factor analyses. Cattell founded the Laboratory of Personality Assessment and Group Behavior. In 1949, he and his wife founded the Institute for Personality and Ability Testing IPAT. Karen Cattell served as director of IPAT until 1993. Cattell remained in the Illinois Research Professorship until he reached the university's mandatory retirement age in 1973. A few years after he retired from the University of Illinois he built a home in Boulder, Colorado, where he wrote and published the results of a variety of research projects that had been left unfinished in Illinois. In 1977, Cattell moved to Hawaii, largely because of his love of the ocean and sailing. He continued his career as a part-time professor and advisor at the University of Hawaii. He also served as adjunct faculty of the Hawaii School of Professional Psychology. After settling in Hawaii, he married Heather Burkett, a clinical psychologist, who later carried out extensive research using the 1-6-PF and other tests. During the last two decades of his life in Hawaii, Cattell continued to publish a variety of scientific articles, as well as books on motivation, the scientific use of factor analysis, two volumes of personality and learning theory, The Inheritance of Personality, and co-edited a book on functional psychological testing, as well as a complete revision of his highly renowned handbook of multivariate experimental psychology. Cattell and Heather Burkett Cattell lived on a lagoon in the southeast corner of Oahu where he kept a small sailing boat. Around 1990, he had to give up his sailing career because of navigational challenges resulting from old age. He died at home in Honolulu on 2 February 1998, at age 92 years. He is buried in the Valley of the Temples on a hillside overlooking the sea. His will provided for his remaining funds to build a school for underprivileged children in Cambodia. He was an agnostic. Topic. Scientific orientation When Cattell entered the fledgling field of psychology in the 1920s, he felt that the domain of personality was dominated by speculative ideas that were largely intuitive with little, no empirical research basis. Cattell accepted E. L. Thorndike's empiricist viewpoint that, if something actually did exist, it existed in some amount and hence could be measured. Cattell found that constructs used by early psychological theorists tended to be somewhat subjective and poorly defined. For example, after examining over 400 published papers on the topic of anxiety, in 1965, Cattell stated, the studies showed so many fundamentally different meanings used for anxiety and different ways of measuring it, that the studies could not even be integrated." Early personality theorists tended to provide little objective evidence or research bases for their theories. Cattell wanted psychology to become more like other sciences, whereby a theory could be tested in an objective way that could be understood and replicated by others. In Cattell's words, Psychology appeared to be a jungle of confusing, conflicting, and arbitrary concepts. These pre-scientific theories doubtless contained insights which still surpass in refinement those depended upon by psychiatrists or psychologists today. But who knows, among the many brilliant ideas offered, which are the true ones? Some will claim that the statements of one theorist are correct, but others will favor the views of another. Then there is no objective way of sorting out the truth except through scientific research." Emeritus Professor Arthur B. Swenny, an expert in psychometric test construction, summed up Cattell's methodology. 
Cattell was without exception the one man who made the most major strides in systematizing the field of behavioral science from all of its diverse facets into a real science based on empirical, replicable and universal principles. Seldom has psychology had such a determined, systematic explorer dedicated not only to the basic search for scientific knowledge but also to the need to apply science for the benefit of all. 3 also, according to Sheehy 2004, p. 62. Cattell made fundamental contributions to our understanding of ability and the structure of personality. In 1994, Cattell was one of 52 signatories on Mainstream Science on Intelligence, an editorial written by Linda Gottfredson and published in the Wall Street Journal which declared the consensus of the signing scholars on IQ research following the publication of the book The Bell Curve. His works can be categorized or defined as part of cognitive psychology, due to his nature to measure every psychological aspect especially personality aspect. Multivariate research Rather than pursue a univariate research approach to psychology, studying the effect that a single variable such as dominance might have on another variable such as decision making Cattell pioneered the use of multivariate experimental psychology the analysis of several variables simultaneously he believed that behavioral dimensions were too complex and interactive to fully understand variables in isolation the classical univariate approach required bringing the individual into an artificial laboratory situation and measuring the effect of one particular variable on another, also known as the bivariate approach, while the multivariate approach allowed psychologists to study the whole person and their unique combination of traits within a natural environmental context. Multivariate experimental research designs and multivariate statistical analyses allowed for the study of real life situations e.g. depression divorce loss that could not be manipulated in an artificial laboratory environment cattell applied multivariate research methods across several intrapersonal psychological domains the trait constructs both normal and abnormal of personality motivational or dynamic traits emotional and mood states as well as the diverse array of cognitive abilities in each of these domains, he considered there must be a finite number of basic, unitary dimensions that could be identified empirically. He drew a comparison between these fundamental, underlying source traits and the basic dimensions of the physical world that were discovered and presented, for example, in the periodic table of chemical elements. In 1960, Cattell organized and convened an international symposium to increase communication and cooperation among researchers who were using multivariate statistics to study human behavior. This resulted in the foundation of the Society of Multivariate Experimental Psychology SMEP and its flagship journal, Multivariate Behavioral Research. He brought many researchers from Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and South America to work in his lab at the University of Illinois. Many of his books involving multivariate experimental research were written in collaboration with notable colleagues. Topic. Factor analysis Cattell noted that in the hard sciences such as chemistry, physics, astronomy, as well as in medical science, unsubstantiated theories were historically widespread until new instruments were developed to improve scientific observation and measurement. In the 1920s, Cattell worked with Charles Spearman who was developing the new statistical technique of factor analysis in his effort to understand the basic dimensions and structure of human abilities. Factor analysis became a powerful tool to help uncover the basic dimensions underlying a confusing array of surface variables within a particular domain. Factor analysis was built upon the earlier development of the correlation coefficient, which provides a numerical estimate of the degree to which variables are co related. For example, if frequency of exercise and blood pressure level 
were measured on a large group of people, then intercorrelating these two variables would provide a quantitative estimate of the degree to which exercise and blood pressure are directly related to each other. Factor analysis performs complex calculations on the correlation coefficients among the variables within a particular domain such as cognitive ability or personality trait constructs to determine the basic, unitary factors underlying the particular domain. While working at the University of London with Spearman exploring the number and nature of human abilities, Cattell postulated that factor analysis could be applied to other areas beyond the domain of abilities. In particular, Cattell was interested in exploring the basic taxonomic dimensions and structure of human personality. He believed that if exploratory factor analysis were applied to a wide range of measures of interpersonal functioning, the basic dimensions within the domain of social behavior could be identified. Thus, factor analysis could be used to discover the fundamental dimensions underlying the large number of surface behaviors, thereby facilitating more effective research. As noted above, Cattell made many important innovative contributions to factor analytic methodology, including the Scree test to estimate the optimal number of factors to extract, the procrustes. Oblique rotation strategy, the coefficient of profile similarity, P technique factor analysis, doctor technique factor analysis, the taxonomy program, as well the rotoplot program for attaining maximum simple structure solutions. In addition, many eminent researchers received their grounding in factor analytic methodology under the guidance of Cattell, including Richard Gorsuch, an authority on exploratory factor analytic methods. Topic. Personality theory In order to apply factor analysis to personality, Cattell believed it was necessary to sample the widest possible range of variables. He specified three kinds of data for comprehensive sampling, to capture the full range of personality dimensions. Life data or L data, which involves collecting data from the individual's natural, everyday life behaviors, measuring their characteristic behavior patterns in the real world. This could range from number of traffic accidents or number of parties attended each month, to grade point average in school or number of illnesses or divorces. Experimental data or T data, which involves reactions to standardized experimental situations created in a lab where a subject's behavior can be objectively observed and measured. Questionnaire data or Q data, which involves responses based on introspection by the individual about their own behavior and feelings. He found that this kind of direct questioning often measured subtle internal states and viewpoints that might be hard to see or measure in external behavior, in order for a personality dimension to be called fundamental and unitary. Cattell believed that it needed to be found in factor analyses of data from all three of these measurement domains. Thus, Cattell constructed measures of a wide range of personality traits in each medium L data, Q data, T data. He then conducted a programmatic series of factor analyses on the data derived from each of the three measurement media in order to elucidate the dimensionality of human personality structure. With the help of many colleagues, Cattell's factor analytic studies continued over several decades, eventually finding at least 16 primary trait factors underlying human personality, comprising 15 personality dimensions and one cognitive ability dimension, factor B in the 16 PS. He decided to name these traits with letters A, B, C, D, E. In order to avoid misnaming these newly discovered dimensions, or inviting confusion with existing vocabulary and concepts. Factor analytic studies conducted by many researchers in diverse cultures around the world have provided substantial support for the validity of these 16 trait dimensions. In order to measure these trait constructs across different age ranges, Cattell constructed Q data instruments that included the 16 personality factor questionnaire 16 PF for adults, the high school personality questionnaire HSPQ, now named the adolescent personality questionnaire APQ, and the Children's Personality Questionnaire CPQ. 
Cattell also constructed the T-Data Objective Analytic Battery OAB that provided measures of the ten largest personality trait factors extracted factor analytically, as well as objective T-Data measures of dynamic trait constructs such as the Motivation Analysis Test MAT, the School Motivation Analysis Test SMAT, and the Children's Motivation Analysis Test CMAT. In order to measure trait constructs within the abnormal personality sphere, Cattell constructed the Clinical Analysis Questionnaire CAC. Part 1 of the CAC measures the 1-6 PF factors, while Part 2 measures an additional 12 abnormal psychopathological personality trait dimensions. The CAC was later re-badged as the Psychoval Personality Questionnaire PEPQ. Also within the broadly conceptualized personality domain, Cattell constructed measures of mood states and transitory emotional states, including the 8-state questionnaire 8SQ. In addition, Cattell was at the forefront in constructing the Central Trait State Kit. From the very beginning of his academic career, Cattell reasoned that, as in other scientific domains like intelligence, there might be an additional, higher level of organization within personality which would provide a structure for the many primary traits. When he factor analyzed the intercorrelations of the 16 primary trait measures themselves, he found no fewer than five second order or global factors, now commonly known as the Big Five. These second stratum or global traits are conceptualized as broad, overarching domains of behavior, which provide meaning and structure for the primary traits. For example, the global trait extroversion has emerged from factor analytic results comprising the five primary trait factors that are interpersonal in focus, thus, global. Extroversion is fundamentally defined by the primary traits that are grouped together factor analytically, and, moving in the opposite direction, the second-order extroversion factor gives conceptual meaning and structure to these primary traits, identifying their focus and function in human personality. These two levels of personality structure can provide an integrated understanding of the whole person, with the global traits giving an overview of the individual's functioning in a broad brush way, and the more specific primary trait scores providing an in-depth, detailed picture of the individual's unique trait combinations Cattell's depth psychometry. P. 71. Research into the 1-6 PF personality factors has shown these constructs to be useful in understanding and predicting a wide range of real-life behaviors. Thus, the 16 primary trait measures plus the five major second stratum factors have been used in educational settings to study and predict achievement motivation, learning or cognitive style, creativity, and compatible career choices, in work or employment settings to predict leadership style, interpersonal skills, creativity, conscientiousness, stress management, and accident proneness, in medical settings to predict heart attack proneness, pain management variables, likely compliance with medical instructions, or recovery pattern from burns or organ transplants, in clinical settings to predict self-esteem, interpersonal needs, frustration tolerance, and openness to change, and, in research settings to predict a wide range of behavioral proclivities such as aggression, conformity, and authoritarianism. Cattell's programmatic multivariate research which extended from the 1940s through the 70s resulted in several books that have been widely recognized as identical identifying fundamental taxonomic dimensions of human personality and motivation and their organizing principles. The Description and Measurement of Personality 1946. An Introduction to Personality Study 1949. Personality, a Systematic, Theoretical, and Factual Study 1950. Factor Analysis 1952. Personality and Motivation Structure and Measurement 1957 The Meaning and Measurement of Neuroticism and Anxiety 1961 Personality Factors in Objective Test Devices 1965 The Scientific Analysis of Personality 1965 Handbook of Multivariate Experimental Psychology 1966 Objective Personality and Motivation Tests 1967 Handbook for the 16 Personality Questionnaire 16 PF 1970 
Personality and Mood by Questionnaire 1973 Motivation and Dynamic Structure 1975 Handbook of Modern Personality Theory 1977 The Scientific Analysis of Personality and Motivation 1977 Personality Theory in Action Handbook for the OA Test Kit 1978 The Scientific Use of Factor Analysis in Behavioral and Life Sciences 1978 Personality and Learning Theory Vols 1 and 2 1979 Structured Personality Learning Theory 1983 Human Motivation and the Dynamic Calculus 1985 Psychotherapy by Structured Learning Theory 1987 Handbook of Multivariate Experimental Psychology 1988 The books listed above document a programmatic series of empirical research studies based on quantitative personality data derived from objective tests T data from self-report question Q data, and from observer ratings L data. They present a theory of personality development over the human lifespan, including effects on the individual's behavior from family, social, cultural, biological, and genetic influences, as well as influences from the domains of motivation and ability. As Hans Eysenck at the Institute of Psychiatry, London remarked, Cattell has been one of the most prolific writers in psychology since Wilhelm Wundt. According to the Citation Index, he is one of the ten most cited psychologists, and this is is true with regard to not only citations in social science journals but also those in science journals generally. Of the 250 most cited scientists, only three psychologists made the grade, namely, Sigmund Freud in the first place, then the reviewer H. J. Isink, and then Cattell. Thus there is no question that Cattell has made a tremendous impression on psychology and science in general. Topic. Views on race and eugenics William H. Tucker and Barry Meller have criticized Cattell based on his writings about evolution and political systems. They argue that throughout his life Cattell adhered to a mixture of eugenics and a new religion of his devising which he eventually named Beyondism and proposed as a new morality from science. Cattell claimed that a diversity of cultural groups was necessary to allow that evolution. Cattell speculated about natural selection based on both the separation of groups and also the restriction of external assistance to failing groups from successful ones. This included advocating for educational and voluntary birth control measures i.e., by separating groups and limiting excessive growth of failing groups. John Gillis, biographer of Cattell has argued that, although some of Cattell's views are controversial, Tucker and Meller have exaggerated and misrepresented his views by taking quotes out of context, and by referring back to outdated writings. Magriatha Lotz 2008 p. 136 also says he was taken out of context by his critics. Lotz says, the views he developed in the 1930s were common among his contemporaries when beliefs in racial differences were widely held, and should not be distorted by judgment according to today's standards. General scientific observations should not be read as personal moral statements. In 1997, Cattell was chosen by the American Psychological Association for its Gold Medal Award for Lifetime Achievement in the Science of Psychology. Before the medal was presented, Meller launched a publicity campaign against Cattell through his nonprofit foundation ISAR, accusing Cattell of being sympathetic to racist and fascist ideas. Meller claimed that, It is unconscionable to honor this man whose work helps to dignify the most destructive political ideas of the 20th century. A Blue Ribbon Committee was convened by the APA to investigate the legitimacy of the charges. Before the committee reached a decision, Cattell issued an open letter to the committee saying, I abhor racism and discrimination based on race. Any other belief would be antithetical to my life's work. And saying that, It is unfortunate that the APA announcement 
has brought misguided critics' statements a great deal of publicity. Cattell refused the award, withdrawing his name from consideration, and the committee was disbanded. Cattell died months later at the age of 92. In 1984, Cattell said that, The only reasonable thing is to be noncommittal on the race question, that's not the central issue, and it would be a great mistake to be sidetracked into all the emotional upsets that go on in discussions of racial differences. We should be quite careful to dissociate eugenics from it. Eugenics' real concern should be with individual differences. Richard L. Gorsuch, 1997, wrote in a letter to the American Psychological Foundation, para. 4, that the charge of racism is 180 degrees off track. Cattell was the first one to challenge the racial bias in tests and to attempt to reduce that problem. Topic selected publications Raymond Cattell's papers and books are the seventh most highly referenced in peer-reviewed psychology journals over the past century. His 25 most cited publications are, Cattell, R.B. 1943. The Description of Personality, Basic Traits Resolved into Clusters. Journal of Abnormal and Social Psychology, 38, 476-506. 1138 Citations, Cattell, R.B. The Measurement of Adult Intelligence. Psychological Bulletin, 40, 153-193. 656 Citations, Cattell, R.B. Description and Measurement of Personality. New York, World Book. 1584 Citations, Cattell, R.B. Confirmation and Clarification of Primary Personality Factors. Psychometrica, 12, 197-220. 400 Citations, Cattell, R.B. Personality, a Systematic Theoretical and Factual Study. New York, McGraw-Hill. 1189 Citations, Cattell, R.B. Factor Analysis, an Introduction and Manual for the Psychologist and Social Scientist. Oxford, UK, Harper. 362 Citations, Cattell, R.B. 1957. Personality and Motivation Structure and Measurement. New York, World Book. 2,334 Citations, Asterisk Asterisk Cattell, R.B. 1963. Theory of Fluid and Crystallized Intelligence, A Critical Experiment. Journal of Educational Psychology, 54, 1-22. 2,632 Citations, Cattell, R.B. and Shire, I.H. 1961. The Meaning and Measurement of Neuroticism and Anxiety. New York, Ronald Press. 1154 Citations, Cattell, R.B. 1965. Factor Analysis, An Introduction to Essentials I, The Purpose and Underlying Models. Biometrics, 21, 190-215. 633 Citations, Horn, J. L. and Cattell, R.B. 1966. Refinement and Test of the Theory of Fluid and Crystallized Intelligence. Journal of Educational Psychology, 57, 253-270. 1740 Citations, Cattell, R.B. The Scree Test for the Number of Factors. Multivariate Behavioral Research, 1, 2, 245-276. 11,290 Citations, Horn, J.L. and Cattell, R.B. Age Difference in Fluid and Crystallized Intelligence. Acta Psychologica, 26, 107 129. 1268 Citations, Cattell, R.B. and Shire, I.H. 1967. Handbook for the IPAT Anxiety Scale Questionnaire. Champaign, Illinois, IPAT. 631 Citations, Cattell, R.B. and Butcher, H.J. 1968. The Prediction of Achievement and Creativity. Oxford, UK, Bob's Merrill. 426 Citations, Cattell, R.B. et al., 1970. 
Handbook for the 16 Personality Factor Questionnaire 16PF in Clinical Educational Industrial and Research Psychology. Champaign, Illinois, IPAT. 3,486 citations, Cattell, R. B., Eber, H. W., and Tatsuoka, M. M. 1970. Handbook for the 16 Personality Factor Questionnaire 16 PF. Champaign, Illinois, IPAT. 3,048 citations, Cattell, R. B. 1971. Abilities, Their Structure, Growth, and Action. Boston, Massachusetts, Houghton Mifflin. 2,566 citations, Cattell, R.B. 1973. Personality and Mood by Questionnaire. San Francisco, California, Josie Base. 793 citations, Cattell, R.B. and Vogelman, S. 1977. A Comprehensive Trial of the Scree and KG Criteria for Determining the Number of Factors. Multivariate Behavioral Research, 12, 289 to 335. 536 citations, Cattell, R. B. and Klein, P. 1977. The Scientific Analysis of Personality and Motivation. New York, Academic. 2,340 citations, Cattell, R. B. 1978. The Scientific Use of Factor Analysis in Behavioral and Life Sciences. New York, Plenum. 2,485 citations, Cattell, R. B. 1987. Intelligence, Its Structure, Growth, and Action. Amsterdam, Elsevier. 1120 citations, Nesselrode, J. R. and Cattell, R. B. 1988. Handbook of Multivariate Experimental Psychology, Rev. 2nd ed., New York, Plenum. 1194 Citations, Cattell, R.B. 1988. The Meaning and Strategic Use of Factor Analysis. In Handbook of Multivariate Experimental Psychology. New York, Plenum. 1023 Citations. Topic. Comprehensive list of Cattell's books. Topic. See also 1-6-PF Questionnaire and Factors Big Five Personality Traits Cattell-Horn-Carroll Theory, CHC theory Culture Fair Intelligence Test Factor Analysis Fluid and Crystallized Intelligence Trait Theory